back to a new school year at LASD. My name is Kira Cox. I'm Reed Cummins. And I'm Lulu Lynch. We hope you all had a great summer and are feeling refreshed and ready to take on the new 2023-2024 school year. A new school year may be starting, but let's reflect on some of the amazing recent achievements from our staff and students. Ross High School graduate Langston Lee was awarded the National High School Musical Theater Jimmy Award for Best Performance by an Actor. This isn't the first time he's been recognized for his talent on stage. Langston also won the Heller Award for the Young Artist. The former Rouse Raider is now in the Big Apple where he'll be studying at the Juilliard School this fall. We wish him luck and I hope he takes a little bit of the Leander A with him wherever he goes. Fire up the engine. The Westside Rockets are launching leadership into orbit. This school was recently recertified as a Lighthouse School, an honor they received back in 2019. To earn a Lighthouse certification, a school must demonstrate growth and innovation within the Le Leader in Me program framework. Westside did so by capitalizing on all areas of leadership, culture, and academics. The Henry Middle School Theater Department, under the direction of Lori Boyd, is getting recognized across the state for their dedication to their craft. The Texas Educational Theater Association is acknowledging the school for reaching the exemplary level of Texas ETA's Board of Distinction. This award represents the department's commitment to educational growth, fostering a supportive learning environment, and promoting a culture of achievement. The Texas ETA will honor the department's accomplishments in their annual award ceremony during Theater Fest in Galveston in September. We're not done bragging about Henry Middle School just yet. The school band became the state champs at the Texas Music Educators Association Honor Band Competition. They claim the title in the 3C classification and will be performing at the TMEA State Convention in San Antonio this school year. Right across the street, Vista Ridge High School's Assistant Principal Wendell Mills has been named Region 13 High School Assistant Principal of the Year. Texas Association of Secondary School Principals made the announcement over the summer. Since 2015, Mills has served in many different roles. Vista Ridge High School Principal Paul Johnson said Wendell Mills is a true difference maker. He's an outstanding role model who passionately serves and connects with all of the Vista Ridge stakeholders. Mills will now be eligible for the state title of Texas Assistant Principal of the Year. Lastly, one of our district's very own teachers has, was honored with a resolution at the Texas State Capitol during the 88th legislative session. Mike Sanders has been with LASD since 2010, working with countless students who have disabilities. Lately, he's been a part of the Homebound program where he goes to students' homes and helps them further their education. One of the amazing things about our Homebound program is we do honestly get to see the student in their home environment at their most comfortable and finding ways to work successfully with them in that environment is um, enlightening and encourages us to really try to do as much as possible to reach the student, to help them make progress throughout the school year in a non-traditional setting, and also it helps us you know, really connect with the families. This distinction is something that Mike and his family are quite familiar with. His grandmother was given a proclamation by the House of Representatives for her 40 plus years of service as a teacher in a nearby rural area. We and everyone at LASD want to congratulate Mike Sanders for his well-deserved recognition. The school year has barely started and there's already so much to celebrate at LISD. We hope to keep highlighting the many accomplishments from across the district. And remember, there's no place like one LISD.